All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to manage your users. So that begins with actually inviting them, right? So whoever you invite, they have to either have a Tableau Online or Tableau Explorer license, right? And actually, let's bring that up, right? So they either have to have a Tableau Explorer license, a Tableau Viewer, or obviously Tableau Creator, right? From there, you can control the level of permissions or what role they're going to be. Right. So, for example, if you're a Tableau creator, you can actually have different levels within that Tableau Explorer. Same thing. And Tableau Viewer is the kind of unique one where it's just on its own. But I've got a PDF that's going to show you all of that. All right. So here's just a little sneak peek. I put this together myself because to get the actual most comprehensive view of what you can and can't do with certain licenses, for the life of me, it doesn't exist on the internet. It's all fragmented. So you'll have maybe a, a table that exists just for this, and then maybe a table that's for this one and this one. So I had to stitch them all together from heaps of different places. And hopefully this gives you the biggest, most comprehensive view from being a server administrator all the way to being just a viewer, right? So we'll go through that later on in the video. For now, what we're going to do is we're gonna go back to our site that we have here, which is the project Jellyman. And we're going to go to users here on the left. All right, so click on users. And because I'm the only user here, right, you're only going to see my name. But when you have purchased, let's say, 50 online licenses, or sorry, I should call them Explorer licenses, right, you'll see this change to 0 to 50. Right? And from there, you can start consuming those licenses. And the way you do that is, let's say I've got 50 free licenses. I can click here on Add Users, and there's two ways I can invite people. So if I click on this, I can either do it by email, which is for me the easiest. All right? So I click on that, and I can just add an email here. So let's say it's just my name again, jed.guinto at gmail.com kind of thing. All right? And from there, I can determine or I can choose what kind of uh, access this person will have. So if I know they're going to have an online license, oh, sorry, an explorer license, they're going to be one of three things. A site administrator, which means they can do everything. An explorer, which means they can do, they can access all the information and dashboards. They can't do anything site-based, like uh, managing users or anything like that. But they can publish using existing data sets, things that have been published online, which we'll cover. Uh, the explorer is basically, you're just having a look but you can still have some of the more advanced features like web editing, ask data, explain data, some of those more advanced things, which we'll cover. Viewer is obviously the lowest view. You just go in, you look, that's it. You can't really do much. Now, if you have a creator license, you can be one of two things, which is a site administrator creator, which means you're, you've got the site admin capabilities, plus the creator, which means you can publish new data sources, you can publish dashboards with new data sources, um, you can pretty much do anything, right? So site administrator creator is like the highest, it's like the highest honor, right? If the queen was doing Tableau, she'd be a site administrator creator, right? And then the next one would be just a standard creator, which basically means you can design, you can publish and all that stuff. You just can't do anything, again, site-based, right? So if I'm thinking of someone, right? So someone has just joined my team. They're an analyst. They're going to be designing things. I'm going to make them a creator. Okay, if I'm employing a senior designer, someone who's going to be in charge of um, entire projects, they're most likely going to be a site administrator creator, uh, administrator creator, because they need to be able to invite people into the team, be able to manage the content, check the rules, permissions, all that kind of stuff. If someone is coming in purely as a manager, let's say, so I'm running a project and there's a manager above me who I just report to saying these are the general stats, I would most likely just make them an explorer because they don't need to design. They're not designers. They just want to see the stats, right? see the results. If it is someone who, again, is maybe just wants to look at the data, but they have some skills in terms of deep diving, they're a little bit tech savvy, not tech savvy, but they're okay with computers. We can teach them some web editing and some basic Tableau, and they want to do that online, I would give them the Explorer can publish feature, which is usually what I give to people so that if they get really interested in Tableau, they always have the option to start designing, and it kind of gets them into the game. If I am looking for someone, not necessarily a designer, but they want to administer the group, 
right, at a higher level, it would be Site Administrator Explorer, okay? So Site Administrator writes, um, but again, they cannot create new content. New, they can't create new published data sources. They can't publish dashboards with new data sets, right? They can only access and make the site changes, all right? Uh, viewer is, again, just the basic one. And unlicensed is a funny one. So unlicensed happens, I think, one of three ways from memory. The first one is if you are an existing user and you have some content you've created, and then I delete you as a user, you will become unlicensed, right? Because you still own content on the site. So I can't permanently delete you until I clear out your content. And I think that's a good thing from the Tableau side because if you had like 10 dashboards that the business uh, depended on, and I didn't know this, I accidentally just, you know, I didn't see it, and I delete it, oh my gosh, how, what am I gonna do, right? Uh, I've lost that build, I can't get it back. Um, I'm sure there's like a backup version, but that's a lot of trouble. So having it there to say, oh no, this person still has stuff owned under their name, I can move the ownership to somebody else and then get rid of their name, okay, and clear up a license. The other way it happens is if you're doing the import CSV, version you have to say what license type or what role type they have and if you don't kind of if you don't do it properly it just doesn't allocate to anything and basically becomes unlicensed right and the last way you get the unlicensed situation is let's say i've purchased 10 online licenses and i've consumed all of them and then i invite a new person to the site i've consumed all my licenses so they just become unlicensed okay now from here what happens is let's say i pick you know explorer can publish i'll go add user and what happens is this person's going to receive an email right and it's going to have like the tableau logo and saying jed wants to invite you to his site right so you activate it um, if you've never, if you haven't got a Tableau online license already, right, for other sites, let's just say, so you're doing it the first time, it, it's going to take you to a page where you have to do your username and password for the site. You type that in, you get it set up. It's almost like setting up a Gmail account or Facebook account. It's really simple. And once you've done that, you end up here on the home page, and you're ready to go. And you can access um, whatever it may be, depending on the permissions or the role that you set okay so what happens if you've already invited someone and you need to change the role type well let's go into users again okay so let's say this is a different person okay if i need to change what they are so let's say they're not really creators anymore they didn't really take to it they just want to view content you can click on these three dots right here go site role and you can just modify it okay all right so there's that the next thing I'm going to teach you is how to import using a CSV. So let's say you're not doing a slow start. You're not doing a let's buy one license, see how it goes, and kind of go from there. If you're going like enterprise or something like that, and your company or your people said, listen, we're going to go at it, we're going to get 200 licenses, and we're going to roll it out. Okay, you can't really add them one by one. It's kind of a pain in the ass. So what you want to do is do a CSV import. So if you go import from file, you can look for that CSV file and it'll bring them in. So the next question is, well, how do you set up the CSV? Well, there's going to be a link on this video. And if you go down, you're going to see these import guidelines. And you can go ahead and read this if you really want to. But if you come down here, there's really two things you want to look at. The first is this thing. This is an example of what the CSV is going to look like. So you're going to have um, value, 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 all separated by commas, or commas, commas, which is a CSV, comma, separated values. Okay, And the order in which you do it should match up to this table. right? So you've got the um, licensing, kind of what they are. I've never really done this, but it's pretty straightforward. right? You can just follow the example right, of what the setup is is okay and that is that so in the next video what we're going to do is cover what the site roles actually mean on a more detailed basis all right i'll see you then